I'm settling down, my text goes, you scream, you know better than that, I come around when you least expect me, I'm sitting at the bar when your class is empty, you thinking that the song's coming on and What's going on, Clay and Fam? Back at it again with some more NBA 2K22 on the PS5. Once again, the Philadelphia 76ers choke in the playoffs. Trust the process, they say. I don't think so. I think it is time for the process, or whatever the hell this thing is, to die. I mean, trust the. I mean, this whole thing has been in the making for eight years, and they haven't even made the finals. So, and they got possibly a top three player in Joel Embiid on their team. They had James Harden on their team. They had Jimmy Butler at one point. They've had two number one picks. They've had. I, I mean, the list goes on and on. How have the Philadelphia 76ers not at least made the NBA Finals? It's embarrassing. And Doc Rivers last night in a press conference? Dude's being a baby. You are one of the most overrated NBA coaches of all time. It's not even a question. Doc Rivers has won one NBA championship as a head coach. And the only reason he did that is because the Boston Celtics were smart enough to build a super team before all the other teams built super teams. That's the only reason, the only reason Doc Rivers has an NBA championship ring as an NBA coach. He had Ray Allen, Hall of Famer. He had Kevin Garnett, Hall of Famer. He had Paul Pierce. I don't think Paul Pierce is a Hall of Famer, but he is. he's going to be in the Hall of Fame. He had those three guys, I wouldn't say in their prime, but pretty close to it. And he's won one NBA title. And now he can't do anything with this 76ers team. Doc Rivers, you might as well retire, dude. You're, you're never going to win another NBA championship. It, it's just not going to happen. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and simulate this first season because this is the season that is taking place right now. We're going to skip all this. Doesn't matter if we win, lose, don't matter. We're going to rebuild this team starting in the 2022 offseason, and we're going to make this team a winner. First things first, let's look at this roster right now. Why they let Jimmy Butler go and went and got Tobias Harris, I will never know. I mean, I don't know what the plan was there. Tobias Harris, his contract, $112 million left. I mean, that's... What is he getting a year? Dude's getting almost $40 million a year. Tobias Harris is getting $40 million a year. Why? I, I just, it, it baffles me. I don't know who, who signed off on that. Because that is so bad. So bad. Heat star Jimmy Butler calls out Sixers for signing Tobias Harris over him. So, let's just, I, I, I'm just going to read this real quick. Everyone will have their theories, but the truth of the matter is the Sixers chose Ben Simmons over Butler and they had to let him go. At the time, it seemed like a smart move, but after Butler and the Heat eliminated the Sixers on Thursday, 99-90 in Game 6, Butler had the last laugh. Philadelphia also acquired Tobias Harris that summer, and as Butler walked, the Sixers couldn't let Harris go either, so they re-signed him to a big contract. Yikes. And I'll throw in the clip of, of Jimmy Butler doing his uh, talking shit after the game. Which he should. I mean, god dang. Again, I don't know what the Sixers are doing, but we're going to try and fix this thing right now. I'm going to give myself three years to do this. Tobias Harris over me? <laughs> I, I, wouldn't, I won't sit here and say I wish uh, I didn't wish he was my teammate. Uh, I, man. Uh, still don't know how we let him go, um, but you know, I wish I could have gone to battle with him uh, still. But it is what it is. Um, you know, I just gotta you know keep building and uh, you know keep trying to reach that goal. Well, Embiid, you just spoke to him. What was that message to him? Um, that I love him. Um, I'm proud of him. Uh, yes, yes, yes. I still wish I was on his team. I definitely love the Miami Heat, though, man. I'm glad that I'm here. But I got so much respect 
and love for Joel Embiid. Now let's take a look at this roster right now. James Harden. We're going to let James Harden walk. There's no reason to keep James Harden. You are a 92 overall, and you can't. You're you're just not a winner. James Harden is not a winner. He's not. He doesn't care enough. Tobias Harris, we're getting off this contract as soon as possible. That looks like a draft night trade right there. Um, Thibel will keep. Danny Green, another one where it's like, we'll, we'll let you walk because it, it's just, it, it's not worth keeping a 35 year old, a 30, a 35 year old player on this team. Paul Millsap, goodbye. Um, yeah, we're losing a lot, but hopefully we can, uh, hopefully we can figure something out in free agency. All right, head coach, Doc Rivers, he's done, dude. He's done. I, I, I can't, I cannot do. I cannot do that anymore. Well, no more Doc Rivers. Goodbye. Sam Cassell. We're moving you up, dude. You are now officially the head coach of the Philadelphia 76ers. Sam Cassell is going to lead us to a title. I can feel it already. I already know. It's going to happen. James Harden declined his player option. Thank God I did not want $47 million a year on the books. Danny Green, see you later. Shake Milton, goodbye. Paul Reed, goodbye. Charles Bassey, goodbye. Isaiah Joe, goodbye. Oh yeah, Tobias Harris. I forgot we haven't traded his ass yet. We'll go ahead and uh, we'll take our chances here. Gordon Hayward, welcome to the team. We should be good now. Damn, we're still 8 mil in the hole. All right. Who else can we get rid of that's not worth a shit? I mean, we could go, we could turn right around and trade Gordon Hayward. I mean, $30 million for Gordon Hayward is a lot of freaking money. You know what? I like this trade right here. Wasn't this dude a lottery pick? Pretty much, yeah. So, we'll do this. And he's on a rookie deal. So, and I think we can move him probably to the power. You, sir, are now a power forward. Does that change his overall? No, it does not. All right. So we're getting young. This is a young team right now. If we get rid of Georgie Yang, then we'll be even younger. All right, so now I think we are finally good to sign Kyrie. And we're going to give him the max. And we're going to give him a, a, a no-trade clause. Let's see if he likes that. And he does. Okay. That might be a mistake. Moving forward. All right, Josh Hart. Nice. We'll get rid of these two bombs. Oh, yeah, we'll do that for sure. That's easy. Two draft picks. Kyrie and Joel both go down one. I turned uh, I turned team chemistry and morale off because it's the dumbest fucking thing ever. Uh... We have seven guys on our team right now. I gotta go sign some people. We got Joe Engels on our team. DeAndre Jordan's back. Tomas is here. We're not very good. What's our, our power rate's seven though. So that's not terrible. Coaching, coach game plan. Like I said, Kyrie at the one, Maxi at the two. Bible at the three, eh? Okay, we'll we'll put Josh Hart at the at the six man position, I guess. We're at the trade deadline, and we are absolutely horrendous. We're so bad. Power rank twenty third. I don't even know what our record is. We're twenty four and thirty. I mean, we're we're right on target to have the worst record in the NBA. We're going to let this season roll. We're not going to make any trades. Because we're not really losing anybody from this team other than a bunch of these guys. I don't know anything about any of these guys. Derek Whitehead. Him or Victor Webanyama. I mean, this dude's seven foot four. We're going to put all of our eggs in that basket. We're, we're going to try and get him. 
And if we have to move Joel to the four, actually, we can play that guy at the power four. That's what we're going to do. All right, we're putting all of our eggs in the Victor Wamanyaba basket, and let's see how that goes. We got to get Victor Wamanyaba, or whatever his name is. We got to get this guy. I don't care what it takes. I don't care if we have to give every single draft pick we have away. We're getting this dude. Trust the process part two. Trust the process part two. And you know what? I may even see what I can get for Joel Embiid. Doncic is your MVP average and almost a triple-double. Holmgren, rookie of the year. Butler, six-man. Anthony Davis, defensive player of the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. None of those are me, so I don't care. We did not make the playoffs, so don't care about any of this. And the Grizzlies win the championship, of course. NBA's golden boy, Ja Morant, is the MVP. Okay, so right now we are at number three. We have the third best odds of getting the number one pick. Come on, boys. We w Oh, my God. Really? Really? Cool. That means we're probably out. Oh, come on, bro. This is ridiculous. Bullshit. Bullshit. The lottery is rigged. Absolutely rigged. Staff signing. Let's see if there's any uh, any better head coaches out there. Just looking at the uh, just looking at the candidates, not gonna hire anybody. Steve Nash. Yep. Yep. See ya, Sammy. The guys just did not respect Sam Cassell. They didn't respect him. Steve Nash, welcome to the squad, dude. Trust the process. Okay, let's get this number one pick. We'll give you our first round pick. We'll give you our second round pick. We'll give you another second round pick. And we'll give you our first round pick next year. All right, you know what? We'll, uh... We'll give you the magic. First round pick, too. Let's freaking go, dude. That's what I'm talking about. You gotta use assets. You gotta use assets to make a name for yourself in this league. And that's what we're doing. Victor Wamanyaba. Welcome to Philadelphia, buddy. Seven foot four. He can play the power forward. I mean, it's a that's a no-brainer. With the first pick in the 2023 NBA draft, the Philadelphia 76ers select Victor Wembenyama from France. Not only is Wembenyama's wingspan of 8'1", the longest among all bigs, it is the longest in the entire draft class. Sim to the end of the draft. It's over. It's done with. We got the best player in the draft, no doubt. 81 overall. I'm good with that. This roster is looking like a championship roster. If this team doesn't win an NBA title, I don't know what to tell you. Power rank is second. Give me a break, dude. Give me a break. Coaching, coach game plan. Really? No. No, no, no. Women, Yama, you're in the starting lineup, dude. I don't care if you're a rookie. And we're going to give you one extra minute. I wish Sengen could play the three. That would be great. But we do have some bench depth, so that's good. We got a seven-man, eight-man rotation. So I'm going to go ahead and simulate to the trade deadline. And uh, let's see. Let's see if this team wins the title. I, I think... Like I said, I don't think there's any reason that this team can't do it. So, power rank third. Not exactly where I thought we'd be. We're one game behind the freaking Charlotte Hornets. And I can understand why. That is a pretty good team, but they're not as they're not as good as us. I don't Yeah, I don't see why they're I mean, they got Josh Richardson, Kai Jones. We got Victor and Josh Hart. 
I mean, look at this. 90, 86, 80, 82, 95, 81, and a 76. I mean, our seventh man is better than their two guys in their starting lineup. So, whatever. Pelicans also dominating. Good for them. So, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I think we're... Uh, I think we're in a good spot right now. So the season's over. We ended second in the power rankings. That's fine. Third in the conference, though. Doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Luka wins the MVP. Our boy Victor wins Rookie of the Year. Averaging a double-double. Christian Wood playing with the Bulls. Sixth man of the year. Jonathan Isaac, Defensive Player of the Year. Most improved. Chris Duarte. Willie Green, Coach of the Year. Jacob Park, once again, Executive of the Year. We play the Cleveland Cavaliers in the first round, and that's not good for us because we lost to the, I think we lost to the Cavs like two or three times during the regular season, so that is not good. All these guys are tired. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So we will, uh... Sim game one, well, we'll sim pl the play-in. Sim the first game. We win game one. Win game two. Win game three. Let's go for a sweep right here. Ah. All right. So we're in the next round. Playing the Pistons. Who do they even have? We should beat this team. There's no reason we should not beat this team. Come on. Come on, 2K. Jesus. What's going on with our guys, man? All right, here we go. Are we going to get swept? Okay, good. We won that game by 15. Won that game by 15. Are we about to come back from... Down 3-0. Let's... Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Okay. We'll take it. Now we got the Hornets. Probably ain't winning this one, boys. Lost game one. Lost game two. One game three. Okay. One game four. Lost game five. Damn it. Oh my goodness, here we go. Let's go, dude. Wow. We're on the brink of elimination twice. Wow. We, okay. Now we got the Timberwolves. Who do they have? Yeah, we th come on now. Come on now. This ain't even going to be a series. They ain't going to win a game. Oh my. Okay, they're coming back a little bit. Oh yeah, this one's over. This one's over. Say good night. Maybe not, okay. Let's, uh, we'll hop in here in a second. Philadelphia 76ers, the rebuild has happened. Finally winning an NBA championship. Let's it fly. No way, that's good. And they've done it! The Philadelphia 76ers! Have won the NBA there it is. Thanks for coming out to support your team. The 76ers Utah, are your NBA, NBA champions. Champion on the road is something else. Kyrie Irving, and to do it Victor, with crowd up. oh, something so going on with his arms there. And so into this game, you've beaten the team, and you've conquered everything that this Steve Nash, whoa, yeah, Steve over here's getting pushed around. For the home crowd. Steve Nash, first year head coach with the Sixers, wins the NBA championship. To never lose focus or drive. And Joel just smacked the shit out of that Timberwolves woman. 
Oh my goodness. And even though they don't get to celebrate in front of their home fans. Oh wow, there's a watch party going on. That's okay, 2K. You outdid yourselves. That's pretty NBA Commissioner Adam Silver doing the honor. Congratulations to the whole organization and of course this incredible team. This Larry O'Brien trophy and I believe this suitcase are yours. You're Bill Russell, Finals MVP. And that's it. They just cut us off. No wine, no champagne, no nothing. Joel should have won the MVP. All right. There it is. The Philadelphia 76ers have won the championship. Kyrie Irving your MVP and that'll do it see if there is a uh, see if there's a banner ceremony here probably not but who knows maybe I mean the watch party thing that's pretty cool that is really cool that they did that let's see if they uh, they gave us a ring ceremony or not and this time director Fenton is set up for the award ceremony the head coach of your home team. This is awesome. Len Robinson the third. Len Robinson the third. I didn't even realize he was on our team. Josh Hart, another key piece to this rebuild. Played six man his first year here. Made his way into the starting lineup his second year. Steve Nash. Giving out all the hardware. Alperin Singen. I, I I never I never knew how to pronounce the kid's name, but he always worked hard in practice. And he, now He's an NBA champion. I call him out. Weird out. Time And Joel Embiid, the process, finally an NBA champion. And this is the way it should be in real life. The dude should have a ring. And if he doesn't have a ring next year, he probably should leave Philadelphia because, oh my goodness, there, there's no reason this dude should not be an NBA champion. Look at those beautiful rings. They're just glowing. Oh, we got a banner ceremony too. And there it is, 2024 World Champions. That's awesome. Wow. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm not seeing our World Championship banner. 
I am pissed. Come on, 2K. If you're if you're gonna go that far, you gotta commit to it. You've gotta commit to it. And they did not do that. That's sad. Oh well, well that'll do it for me, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our final roster. Not that it matters, but here it is: Joel Embiid, Kyrie, Tyrese Maxey, Victor, Weird Al, Josh Hart, Ricky Rubio was not on that championship team. I, I don't. Who, whoever some of these guys are, Rock Zagorak. No, you're not an NBA champion. As a matter of fact, bye. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see you on another time. Peace. You fucker!